Hello, everyone, and welcome to Tabor Talk. So we are in the home stretch. We're almost there. Twenty something days. What is today? Uh, Wednesday, uh, October sixteenth. And how about this? Uh, Kamala Harris has agreed to do an interview with Fox News. Brett Bear. She's going to do it with Brett Bear. No, no Sean Hannity. No. <laughs> Full-blown right-wing propagandist Sean Hannity, no Laura Ingraham or Maria Bartiroma. These people are disgusting. And like, okay, Brett Baer is more of a serious journalist. Um, he's still definitely right-wing, but I like it. I like it. And uh, I think Kamala Harris is going to do a really good job uh, tonight. And I will... Um, do a video afterwards, maybe tonight or t uh, tomorrow. So, and here's uh, another interesting uh, piece of news as far as Kamala Harris doing interviews. Joe Rogan, they're in negotiation. There's a possibility that Kamala Harris is going to do the Joe Rogan podcast. That's very, very interesting uh, to me. Uh, people who've been following me for some time, I used to be a huge Joe Rogan fan, um, and I used to do a video after each and every one of Joe Rogan's podcasts. And so that was years ago. That was pre-COVID stuff. Uh, Joe Rogan has since gone right wing. He's been red pilled or he's gone, I wouldn't say full blown MAGA it's from here and there, but, um, but he's not the same guy. And I've played videos of him before and after the change. And it's, it's unbelievable. It seems like a completely different guy, but let's see if Joe is coming back to sanity and I think she'll come off great. Kamala Harris is great in these interviews. She's very personable, down to earth, and you want to get to know. You want to get to know her. Uh, I guess some people do. I mean, but um, it's. I think it's a great, great idea. Brett Bear tonight and Joe Rogan, and there you go. So uh, I want to bring up the polls. These polls seems like there's a slight surge with Trump, which makes zero sense he's becoming more and more insane unhinged you know i'm gonna get the military uh, of the, his own citizens people i don't like it's the enemies are within it's not russia or china it's the democrats the radical left he calls them communist. it's just he's getting nuttier and nuttier and his poll numbers go up doesn't make any sense right same the other day where he's just doesn't take any questions and he's just swaying oh it's like for 25 30 minutes to music just swaying like this guy is deranged he's an old senile deranged sociopath you know and he's just getting worse and worse and like the polls got it, it makes zero sense so uh Anthony Davis breaks this down. And by the way, I did a couple of videos uh, with Anthony Davis breaking down Trump's uh, economic policy speech in Detroit. And people seem to like that. His analysis was spot on. So I'm going to show you a little bit more of Anthony Davis and what he thinks about these bogus polls. By the way, there was like 60 plus uh, right wing pollsters. Like, what's that all about? Of course, they're going to show like a little Trump. It's all bullshit. It's like the maggots are always saying we're winning. We're going to crush and all this. It's it's nonsense. So let me play this and I'll talk some more. The polls, because it does seem really weird that Donald Trump is becoming increasingly unhinged and aggressive and violent and insightful with his language, his racism, his abuse. And yet his popularity doesn't seem to wane in any of the polling. And in fact, if we look at today's polling, the national polling, where they bring all of the different polls together and find the mean average, Kamala Harris is 2.4 points ahead of Donald Trump. He has 46.1%. She holds 48.5%. If you look at the tracker, this is kind of weird that they've basically tracked together throughout much of this campaign and, and, and nothing that Trump really does, no matter how dramatic or off-putting or weird, you don't really see an effect of that in these, in these amalgamated national polls. And I, I have a couple of theories behind this, and so I just want to kind of put your mind at rest, and that is that firstly, there is a huge disinformation campaign going on by the Kremlin, by the Russians, by Vladimir Putin, that is influencing a lot of the coverage that people are actually seeing. And so many of the comments that you'll see on videos, including this one, will actually be created by software, by bots, designed to support Donald Trump 
and give the impression that he has more support than he actually has. And remember, Trump hasn't won anything since 2016. He is a political loser. He lost the popular vote back then as well to Hillary Clinton. He, he, he is not a winning candidate. In my view, he is a fringe candidate. He's a minority candidate. But because of his ostentatious character and the way he behaves and the fact that he puts his name on everything from buildings to aeroplanes to hats, it, it feels like he is more popular than he is. And, and that is intentional on his part because the whole thing is a grift. The whole exercise of running for president and campaigning is a money-making exercise for Donald Trump. It is, it is designed to enrich him at the cost of invariably working people who don't really have that money to spend. But he doesn't care about that. He's just trying to stay out of prison. And there are people controlling him too, of course. We talk often about this far-right Christian nationalist movement. We talk about the Heritage Foundation. We talk about the Federalist Society. We talk about those who have been actively involved in placing those Supreme Court judges under Donald Trump and, you know, recommending them and whispering in Trump's ear and writing Project 2025 and, you know, people behind the scenes, unelected individuals who believe that America should be a Christian nationalist nation. They're not really Christians at all, these people. They're political operatives. They just use Christianity as a, as a kind of Trojan horse, give the impression that they are people of God, when in fact they are just extremists, political extremists. So for all the noise, it is difficult to get the sense that Donald Trump might be behind, you know. He's behind in these polls. The battleground states are a little tighter. But I personally have faith that the silent majority will be voting for Vice President Harris. And the reason I say that is because I believe that Americans are smarter than some people might give them credit for, and they do not want the United States to fall into this trap of authoritarianism. This is what Trump has become. He has is, he is almost morphed into this evil creature by nature of the fact that he is under criminal investigation and the fact that he's in debt and all of these things they they push people to become the worst versions of themselves and so his language now the rhetoric is increasingly abusive and racist and xenophobic and misogynistic and he doesn't care i mean he even said you know what would you prefer a black president or a white president i think you want the white guy he's not even hiding it anymore this is who donald trump is He's always been this person, but now we're seeing a more egregious version of the old kind of comedic actor Donald Trump. And remember, that's all he was ever good enough to be, was just a comedic actor appearing in Home Alone 2 or doing infomercials on television for his own branded products. That is as far as it should have gone with Donald Trump. Unfortunately, The Apprentice gave him this national platform and people thought he really was that guy, except he wasn't. He's an actor. He's a, he's a novelty. They knew they could create somebody, a, a, an image of somebody that people thought, yes, that is somebody who truly represents business. And then with that, he took that idea that being a businessman and having great wealth would set him up for being a great president. He actually admitted that he got into the White House in 2017 and didn't have a clue what he was doing. He's actually admitted that. He still doesn't have a clue what he's doing. He is increasingly unhinged, unwell. His dementia is presenting itself more and more. And that's the least of our problems. The biggest issue is that he is not going to admit defeat. He is never going to concede. And he will basically run, as he almost has been in the last four years, some kind of shadow government where he walks around pretending to be the president. And people call him Mr. President and he expects more attention than the person who's actually in the White House. So my view is that these polls do not react as they would do if it was a normal election with a normal candidate where we weren't bombarded with Russian influence. Of course, we now have Elon Musk and his 
Twitter influence upon people. He is totally in the tank for Donald Trump. He himself has been exposed as a, as a far-right operator and somebody who is blatantly anti-woke and calls himself a free speech absolutist when all he wants to do is silence free speech. He now is going out of his way for Donald Trump. He's been talking to Trump multiple times each week. He's poured funding into get out the vote operators for, for Donald Trump. And, and he has a lot at stake. He's admitted it himself. He's, he's basically said that he's screwed if, if Kamala Harris becomes the president. And, and why? The revenue to do all of the good things that she wants to do will come from billionaires who have been avoiding tax for decades. The billionaires can afford to pay their fair share. And up until now, and certainly under Donald Trump, they have not. So Musk does not like to be hit where it hurts him, in his wallet. So with Musk behind Trump, with Russia behind Trump, with the support from foreign influence, the Chinese and goodness knows who else, they all want an authoritarian character in the White House because it connects with their network of extreme political views. Victor Orban, who is Hungary's premier. Donald Trump is always saying, oh, well, Victor said this, Victor said that. Nobody cares about Victor. Victor himself is a dangerous individual. Donald Trump sees himself as one of these dictators, and that's the company that he keeps. Americans are not going to vote for that. They know now that the threat is from an individual who is increasingly dangerous that is the true threat to democracy so i think that this election is going to be a mess i think that we're not going to get a result on a day or two days after voting day as we might normally because georgia is doing a hand count as we know courtesy of the republicans there well that's five and a half million votes to count which could take a week donald trump has installed in these legislatures people who are Trump loyalists who might refuse to certify the election. He practiced this last time with his coup on January 6th. This time, he could see it through. So I'm not expecting there to be a result, despite the fact that there probably will be a clear winner. And that winner will be Kamala Harris and the Democrats. Because women are voting. Because minorities are voting. Because LGBTQ plus community are voting because people who care about humanity and care about America are voting. So don't trust the polls because they are a distraction. And also don't feel that if the poll looks like it's too close, neck and neck, that you're just like, oh, my vote's not gonna make any difference. Your vote counts. It is essential that everybody goes out and makes up the numbers. Even Donald Trump is asking his people to get out the vote. So please, if you haven't done your early voting already if you haven't registered there's a lot to do ahead of november 5th do the work it's the only way to guarantee the safety and the freedoms that we have enjoyed here in the united states going forward i'm anthony davis you can find me on the five minute news youtube channel okay so there you go anthony davis is the goat i love him he's so good okay make sure you like and subscribe it helps with the algorithm and spread it around i mean the goal is to get to ten thousand subscribers at which time we could do long-form podcasts and have guests peace everyone